Okay, I have the top of the hour, we shall begin. Welcome everyone, I hope you're in good health and good spirits, and I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your day to join this webinar in, on improving infrastructure resilience with permanent stabilization solutions for roads, highways, and bridges. Infrastructure development for highways and road corridors faces many challenges when it comes to project design and construction. Building asphalt or concrete roadways over soft soils requires thick base layers of expensive stone and pavement surfaces often fail just a few years after installation. Expanding road width requires steepening corridor embankments, leading to potential slope failure that can cause road closures and damage. Stormwater management alongside roads is an increasingly common concern due to limited construction space and larger storm events. Presto Geosystems provides cost-effective, low-maintenance, high-quality solutions for all of these potential issues using our GeoWeb 3D soil stabilization system. In this webinar, we'll discuss how to utilize these solutions to address the challenges of aging infrastructure. I'm Jose Pablo George, or JP, the International Business Development Manager with Presto Geosystems. We manufacture industry-leading erosion control, stormwater management, and porous pavement products, all made in the upper Midwest of the United States. Through an extensive national and international distribution network, we offer technical and site support, as well as free project evaluation from our in-house design engineering team. Today's webinar on improving infrastructure resilience will share permanent stabilization solutions for roads, highways, and bridges. Here are the things I hope you get out of today's presentation. Gain an understanding of the innovative ways Presto Geosystems products provide permanent stability solutions along roadways and surrounding areas. Understand how geocells perform in the most challenging soil conditions. Learn about different geocell applications and where they can be used in roadway corridors. Learn how geocells help manage stormwater runoff alongside roads and prolong pavement life. Everyone is muted for the webinar, so if there are any questions during the presentation, please type them in the question window and I'll answer them after the webinar. Thank you. First, a little background on Presto. We worked with the US Army Corps of Engineers to develop geocell technology in the late 1970s and have been innovating ever since. Our products have been used in over 200 countries and every state in the US. We go beyond simply providing a product to helping you provide a complete stabilization solution. We operate in three product areas, soil stabilization using our GeoWeb GeoCells, which can be used for load support, slope and channel protection, and constructing green retaining walls. Porous pavements, of which we have both vegetated and aggregate solutions, and lightweight reusable construction mats. Today we'll focus on GeoWeb GeoCells. So we'll now get into a little general information about GeoWeb GeoCells. The GeoWeb system is our version of GeoCell technology and consists of two main attributes. The first is the cell or container size. And the cells come in three different diameters, small, medium, and large openings. And these dimensions depend on project details and vehicle loading requirements. We can help you determine which is the most appropriate for your specific job. There are also five section lengths to best fit your project needs. The ultrasonically welded seam where all the connecting points are is very important to the function of a geocell. The stronger that seam strength, the better the performance the geocell will be. A strong seam allows for heavier infill, steeper and taller slopes, and better lifetime performance. GeoWeb is produced using high quality virgin high density polyethylene resin for consistently strong welds at cell junctions while also maintaining semi-rigid ductile properties within the cell walls, high stress crack resistance, and overall toughness and long-term durability in the environment. 
Our geocells do not use fillers or exotic polymer alloy blends, which can ultimately reduce your weld strength and environmental stress crack resistance, and that are offered in some competing products in the name of increasing cell wall stiffness. To avoid weld failures and the damaging effects of differential settlement, uniformity in performance across all elements of, geo of a geocell system is much more important than stiffness alone. Here we see a typical GeoWeb panel. It comes trifolded on a pallet, and each section has a nominal width of eight and a half feet with lengths up to 58 feet. The panels are flexible, opening like an accordion, so they can follow the natural contours of the worksite without being confined to a rigid set of dimensions. The second main attribute of the GeoWeb system is the infill, or what you put into the container. An important benefit of the GeoWeb system is that even a low quality aggregate, sand, or certain salvage material can be used to infill the cells. Using salvaged aggregate or sand can say, save significant amounts of money on material and, hand, and, hand, and hauling costs. We can also eliminate fines when desired since the cells provide the confinement and aid compaction of cohesionless soils. Without fines, you can significantly improve drainage and let water flow freely through the system, preventing poor pressure buildup and global failure of the cross section. The ability to use sands and low quality aggregates really sets the 3D GeoWeb system apart from planar geogrids and geotextiles. Those products require high quality materials with high friction angles to achieve their optimal performance. With the GeoWeb system, low friction angle materials are just fine as the panels achieve their full potential even with these poor materials. That means huge cost savings are available. The three primary elements of any geocell system, cell walls, internal junctions, and connectors, must perform uniformly as a complete system, and any incremental improvement in one characteristic is only valuable if a complementary improvement has been made in the other components of the system. GeoWeb is manufactured using a proprietary blend of high-quality virgin high-density polyethylene. Our formulation has stood the test of time for more than 40 years and contains no fillers, unstable polymer combinations, or exotic polymer alloys. For most typical sites, GeoWeb will retain its durability for greater than 100 years, with lab testing indicating 149 years without degradation, even at full exposure to the elements. We stand behind these numbers so you can deliver certainty in the solution and build with quality materials you can trust. Made from high stability inert materials, GeoWeb geocells are your permanent stabilization solution and will not degrade, leach, or release microplastics into the environment. GeoWeb is manufactured with premium high-density polyethylene resin with no fillers, alloys, or compatibilizers, and our base resin is the same material used in environmental applications such as geomembranes and other environmental barriers to protect against the spread of harmful toxins. Our products have been third-party tested by accredited geosynthetics laboratories, confirming long-term stability against environmental factors such as weathering and oxidation. GeoWeb and our accessories are 100% made in the USA under strict quality assurance and environmental control processes, sure to comply with all requirements for Build America, Buy America, and the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act. The system components are all the supporting pieces that help the GeoWeb protect the road surface and sub-base layers and also ensure relatively uniform performance of this interconnected system, thereby protecting against the damaging effects of non-uniform deformation and differential settlement in response to applied loads. Presto's GeoWeb system components increase strength and speed of installation, each of them with specific strength values for consistent performance as part of your engineered solution. The Atra key is the first component for a completely integrated system, 
connecting each individual panel of GeoWeb into a single web. It allows for faster installation of the GeoWeb and will last the lifetime of a project, ensuring the stabilized area is protected and the GeoWeb system will not fail under anticipated loading. The specific engineering values of the Atra key will ensure the system holds up to that loading without corrosion, as seen in staples, or the failure of underperforming cable tie systems. Our spec sheet calls out specific engineering values for this patented connector. As slope angles increase, the driving force of the infill material exceeds the available frictional resisting force and additional anchorage is required. The ATRA anchors hold the GeoWeb to slope and penetrate into the ground. If corrosion resistance is required due to project conditions, Presto has an ATRA speed stake that is designed to work with the GeoWeb with higher resistance to extraction compared to rebar or J-hooks. For steep slopes, a slope where the native soil is highly erodible or over a surface that cannot be punctured, such as a, a geomembrane or liner, tendons can be used. The ATRA tendon clips transfer the load from heavy infill material to the tendons and crest anchorage system. Only the ATRA tendon clip is specifically designed to fully transfer safely and securely the forces placed upon the geocell. Every accessory and every feature has been designed and tested to specifically work together, so we go from problem to design, to construction solution, with a system where our modeling replicates real-world forces. We'll now move on to discuss our soil stabilization capabilities using the GeoWeb Cellular Confinement System as it relates to roads and highways. Presto offers solutions for many different road and highway applications, load support for unpaved roads, road shoulders, and base stabilization under paved surfaces. Slope stabilization encompassing embankment slopes, bridge abutments, and retaining walls, and stormwater control is possible with geocells through roadside ditches, drainage channels, and culvert outfalls. The purpose of cellular confinement is very simple. Stabilize the movement of unstable soils, both horizontally and vertically. The weaker the subgrade conditions, the more practical the insertion of the GeoWeb system is into the design. It is an engineered system integrating multiple types of geosynthetics with the best method of confinement and subgrade stress reduction in the industry. Although today's discussion will focus on the GeoWeb system for roadway infrastructure, other applications include intermodal, rail ballast reinforcement, steepened slopes, vegetated swales, stone or concrete line channels, and vertical MSE walls. If your project involves one of these applications, please reach out to our design engineering team for a free project evaluation and support. Here's a bit of how the GWeb system works. We can see the stresses on the subgrade with an unsupported subgrade on the left and GWeb reinforcement on the right. Notice how there's a complete elimination of the highest stresses at the surface with the GWeb reinforcement. Stresses are reduced and distributed over a wider area, which we call the mattress effect. This mattress effect reduces the stress reaching the subgrade and leads to a significant decrease in deflection and rutting. GWeb geocells can alter the geometry of a soil pressure bulb beneath an applied load through that mattress effect. When a load is applied to a geocell reinforced layer, lateral earth pressures develop within the infill material, which is confined laterally by the geocell walls against movement, in turn developing upward shear resistance along wall interfaces through the interconnected network of cells. In essence, this lateral confinement converts horizontal earth pressures into upward resisting shear forces. When combined with suitable base reinforcement, such as an enhanced woven geotextile, it becomes possible to construct over very weak subgrade materials 
including those with standard penetration resistance values less than two blows per foot, which is a CBR about a 0.5 or less, where most planar geosynthetic products such as geogrids would otherwise fail. The GeoWeb 3D system works in this way. When a vertical load is applied, the active earth pressure in the loaded cell pushes back against the passive earth pressure in the adjacent cell to form a stable system. Being confined, the soil responds passively. The infill is limited in its movements, represented by the yellow arrows. The cells adjacent to the loaded cell provide passive resistance, shown in the diagram by the red arrows. The load is dispersed over a greater area in the lower layers, as each cell helps support the ones around it. The GWEB cell walls also transfer hoop stress, which is important in keeping the system intact and creates a mattress effect. The strength of the seams around each cell, the material properties of the individual strips, and the connection method between panels are all important factors in determining how the geocell system can improve load bearing capacity. Strong seams, semiductal resin properties, and the integrated connections are critical to a well performing system. The GeoWeb system and accessories are specifically designed to work together to be an effective, permanent solution for roads in soft soil locations. By eliminating lateral particle movement, the GWEB system can stabilize the surface, eliminating the need for constant maintenance. Here we see the impressive load support benefits of an 80,000 pound loaded dump truck or standard Ashto H25 loading on a partially filled GWEB panel over soft subgrades. We see how the cells push back against each other to support this load and only ad the adjacent cell needs to be filled for that support. A great benefit to using the GWEB system is you do not need to have every cell completely filled before the road is usable. You can reduce construction time and materials with this approach. The GWEB system is often compared to two-dimensional geogrids and they do start with a similar concept. However, due to the 3D nature of GeoWeb, the integrated infill geosynthetic system acts as a composite layer where lateral earth pressures are mobilized and transferred across a three-dimensional network of interconnected cells. This is the mattress effect we mentioned earlier. Because of this phenomenon, lower quality fill materials, often sand or other fill readily available on site, can be beneficially reused, thereby eliminating the need to import expensive aggregate as required with geogrids. The GeoWeb system uses a thinner cross-section as well. A six-inch GeoWeb system is typically equivalent to a 12-inch GeoGrid section, requiring two or more layers of grid. We can also eliminate fines when desired, since the cells provide the confinement and aid compaction of cohesionless soils. Without fines, we can significantly improve the drainage and let water flow freely through the system, preventing pore pressure buildup and global failure of your cross-section. Additionally, geogrids do little to stabilize the surface, uh, re requiring significantly more maintenance since the aggregate is loose at the surface and can get pushed around by vehicle passes. Continuing with the theme of unpaved gravel surface road applications, a washed or clear stone can be used in the GeoWeb system, allowing you to build a stable, permeable, low impact development access roads. Site access roads, both temporary and permanent, are a very common application with the GeoWeb system. As mentioned, heavy loaded vehicles can drive on the system immediately after infilling to help finish construction, and that's a huge time saver. With GeoWeb panels and a woven geotextile, you can bridge soft, wet ground, creating access roads with little to no site disturbance. Saturated soils usually cannot support any type of vehicle loading. Woven geotextiles can add an additional strength layer to the system and will not get clogged by the subgrade material while still allowing that water movement as necessary. A clear stone infill combined with the perforations in the geoweb cell walls 
allows water to flow both vertically and laterally through the system, limiting the impact in sensitive environmental locations in ways that paved asphalt or concrete roads cannot. The GWEB system can support all highway traffic loading, making it a great option for extending sh shoulder areas along all types of roadways. The GWEB panels can be filled with either aggregate or an engineered fill, two-thirds aggregate, one-third topsoil mix, that allows for full vegetation growth while still supporting vehicle loading. Both infill types can widen roads for emergency access and help manage stormwater runoff from the impervious asphalt pavement by allowing the stormwater to infiltrate, reducing erosion concern at your pavement edges. Building a bit on that thought of stormwater infiltration, I'll point out that the GeoWeb system can create true porous pavement systems. The water infiltrates at the point of impact, reducing surface runoff and reducing or potentially eliminating the need for additional stormwater infrastructure such as detention ponds. In this regard, porous pavements offer several regulatory advantages, and we have a lot of material on our website that can support your project through the permitting and design phase. Now we're going to switch from using the GeoWeb system as the road surface to using the system for road base stabilization. The GWEB system can be used in place of, or in conjunction with, the traditional aggregate layer beneath a paved asphalt or concrete road surface. That same mattress effect from the GWEB panels we just discussed still applies here, with the system helping bridge soft soils and adding strength to weak subgrades. When used as a base layer, those stiffening effects of a uniform system are translated up through the surface layer keeping the paved surface stable and in place and reducing your maintenance requirements. Plus the GeoWeb system can allow for a thinner cross section, again, about 50 to 70% thinner, which means there's going to be less excavation required on site. This is a great benefit when you have shallow public utilities like the project shown here in Ohio. Note how the asphalt layer can go down as soon as the GeoWeb is filled. No need for cure time or any special equipment. The same benefits apply for the GeoWeb system when it's used as a base layer. The ability to use low quality aggregate or granular material is huge, meaning you can use on-site or salvage materials without needing expensive and difficult to obtain engineered stone. The stress reduction capacity of the panels will reduce the potential for deformation or settlement when placed over soft soils, which means you are not going to see all the alligator cracking and wheel ruts forming at your surface. A stronger base layer means a stronger surface layer and longer pavement lives with less maintenance or section replacement. Here's an example of a pretty common project we see. I'm sure you've dealt with roads like the one in the upper left, surface cracking, ruts, lots of patched areas that seem to start failing almost immediately. This is what happens when the road is built over a weak base layer that cannot fully support the vehicle traffic. With the GeoWeb system, the failed asphalt and base layers are removed, the panels laid down and filled with a granular material, and then a fresh paved surface is placed over the panels. Now you have a strong base leading to a strong surface that will look cleaner and last much longer with much less pass patching and maintenance required. The GeoWeb system can be used under all types of roadways from private drives to full service highways, like this project for the New Mexico State Highway and Transportation Department. Unable to proceed on a timely basis with any of the conventional alternatives, such as deep excavation with thick base layers or using chemical stabilizers on the extremely soft subgrade, the DOT turned to Presto GeoWeb. The local sand was used as the infill material with a six inch deep GeoWeb system under the asphalt pavement. 
Nearly 200,000 square feet of GEOA panels went into the ground quickly and inexpensively, solving the DOT's budget and construction timing issues. GWEB Reinforced Concrete Pavement, or GWEB GRC, is an application of GWEB for rigid pavements, with thicknesses of three to four inches of concrete acting in a monolithic way. GRC allows for the construction of fast installation concrete roadways. With the typical yields of 6,500 square feet or 600 square meters per day um, with a work group of eight. As shown before in the diagram with yellow and red arrows, the cells surrounding the loaded geocell help support and disperse the stresses of the load. Here we see the GRC system in action under heavy loading. No expansion joints needed, unlike traditional concrete slabs. GRC has small shrinkage gaps between the GWIB cell wall and the cured concrete, providing controlled joints on the perimeter of the cell wall. GWIB GRC allows pores in irregular shapes and to suspend and renew pores when and where required. Here's a summary of the construction process of GWIB reinforced concrete pavement system. The innovative GWIB GRC system was developed for use as an industrial pavement solution as seen at this multimodal center. And GRC pavements offer an economic, long-lasting industrial pavement option with thinner cross-sections compared with traditional pavements. The GWEB GRC system is perfect for secondary and residential roadways, like this example from Baru in Colombia, five miles of roads with a three-inch GWEB. Here are the GRC roads after installation. GWEB reinforced concrete pavements pair perfect as industrial pavements, like at this distribution center. And here an example of GRC for industrial pavement with heavy loading. One more example of GWEB load support. A high stress area subject to maintenance are bridge abutments when you transition from a solid structure to a prepared subgrade. You hear it all the time, the bump at the end of the bridge. Many Class 1 railroads use GWEB at their new bridges to control differential and long-term settlement and to eliminate that bump at the end of the bridge issue. Here's a project we did recently and completed it in Texas. This is the same type of stress reduction, um, the same type of stress reduction for railways works well for roadways too. There are different types of installation methods that can be used at bridge abutments. On this project, they use one layer of GeoWeb plus an enhanced woven geotextile. Typically, we'll use two panels in width, which provide a total width of approximately 17 feet, and two panels in length, which provide a total length of about 44 feet. Two panels in length really leads uh, to an acceptable level of stress distribution off the bridge. Depending on the amount of settlement that's expected, sometimes we can provide two panels stacked atop each other at the bridge abutment and then transition to a single GWEB layer. We can work with you to determine the most applicable layout for your project needs. Again, reach out for our free project evaluation service and have our in-house design team run some calculations for you. Or use the Presto Geo P3 site and run them yourself. We'll now move to embankment stabilization using GWEB geocells. Many times slopes and embankments need to be stabilized after or in conjunction with road and highway construction.
The GWEB system for slopes can be filled with several different materials depending on your project needs. Topsoil with vegetation is the most common, but sometimes vegetation is not appropriate, so stone and concrete are also options. Here's a simplified diagram showing how the different system components interact with the GWEB to form a complete system. The first thing to go down is typically the geosynthetic under, underlayer, such as a geogrid or geotextile. Then the GWEB is put in, put in place. Notice how the GWEB has a horizontal turn near the top of the slope. This is important for crest anchorage and erosion control. We have several options for anchoring, one using stakes with the Atra stake clip. These are placed mid-slope and at the crest, and the number and spacing of stakes is project dependent. We have fully polymeric or fiberglass stake options as well if long-term corrosion is a concern. Another anchor option is to use tendons and a dead man, with the dead man being a buried pipe, concrete anchor, or earth or rock anchor at the crest. The GWEB is then filled with the desired infill material and a vegetated and erosion control blanket or hydro seeding is used to prevent washout prior to establishment of vegetation. The GWEB works in multiple ways to protect slope surfaces. It prevents significant movement of the soil by confining the soil to individual cells. And by separating the soil into smaller segments, the system resists mobilization of the entire slope face due to hydraulic loads and prevents soil erosion. It's important to reiterate that proper installation of the GWEB includes embedding the GWEB into the crest of the slope. This prevents water from flowing beneath the GWEB and undermining the system. No rills or gullies will form beneath the GWEB and lead to failure. The system provides a way to fully vegetate slope surfaces that otherwise could not support sustainable plant life and increases the overall slope stability by interlocking with the vegetative root zone. Stone and concrete materials can also be confined within the GWEB panels, again on slopes that would normally be too steep to allow for natural stone slopes. Vegetated slopes are the most popular option for slope protection because they can result in the most attractive slopes with little to no maintenance. It's important to note that the GWEB slope protection system is for surface erosion issues only. Because the GWEB panels are laid over the slope face, the system does not assist in globally stabilizing the slope. If global stability is a concern, other measures need to be taken and we'll talk about options for that in a few minutes, like the GWEB earth retention system. If the slope is stable, but seeing failure due to stormwater erosion or saturated soil movement, then the GWEB slope protection system can help. This was a vegetated slope over unstable soil slope at an active gold mine in Canada with variable lengths and face angles and an access road going to be built above the slope where the excavator is shown. So the slope had to be stable enough to support that expected live traffic loading. Here we see space constraints at the toe of the slope in the form of another access road. So the slope could not be regraded into a gentler slope. A nice feature of the GeoWeb slope system is shown in the after photo where a guardrail is installed at the crest and a fence installed at the toe. There's no limit on this sort of infrastructure being installed near or on the GeoWeb panels, a great benefit for tight spaces like this one. This slope alongside a road in Ohio shows a common problem solved with the GeoWeb system. Erosion and washout of soil slopes onto road surfaces is a problem in many locations. Covering the slope with the GWEB system and infilling with topsoil allows for a vegetated slope without the concern of having to constantly replace soil after storm events. We do recommend some sort of surface protection like hydro seeding or using erosion control blankets until vegetation has had a chance to grow. 
Embankments along roadways have to deal with sheet flow runoff from the impervious surface, like the slope shown here for a Maryland State Highway Administration project. Sheet flow can cause sloughing of large sections of the upper topsoil layer, causing deep rills and gullies, and preventing vegetation from taking hold. The GWEB system holds the soil in place while allowing the water to run over the surface, so no more gullies and vegetation can form deep roots to further stabilize the slope. Road widening is becoming more common, with DOTs trying to, trying to find more roadway space without displacing any significant structures. The slopes or embankments are usually where that additional space can be found, as shown in this road widening project in New Hampshire. The GWEB slope protection system allowed for steeper slopes to be created without erosion concerns. The system can be installed quickly and vegetated quickly, so there's no long construction time to shut down your, import, your important roadways. Ease and speed of construction are important features of the GWEB system that everyone appreciates. This project in Pennsylvania highlights a different issue we haven't mentioned so far, geomembrane liner protection. This highway cut exposed pyrite bearing sandstone to air and rain, creating the potential for acid rock drainage. To remediate, an impervious geomembrane was installed over the slope base, and then the geoweb system installed over the liner. The liner needs to be protected so it doesn't get punctured, which would allow air and water through, defeating its purpose. The GWEB system rests on top of the liner and is anchored with the tendon system without puncturing the liner, and the topsoil infill prevents damage to the liner over time. This is also a great way to cover landfills or protect drainage ponds that may have impervious liners to stop chemical or waste leaching as well. As I mentioned, our slope protection system can go very steep if needed. This was a project along the Pan American Highway in Peru, where the slope on each terrace was about 75 degrees. This was unique because these terraces were actually hand compacted to that angle, so they're not natural slopes. This project required tendons through every row of GeoWeb panel due to the steepness and the weight of the infill. Earth anchors were used at the crest of each slope because a dead man trench could not fit on top of the narrow terraces. The client also chose to use a biaxial geogrid beneath the GeoWeb for additional soil control. And here's the final product. The vegetation has taken hold and the slopes are stable, even at such extreme slope angles. Aggregate infill can provide a low maintenance solution, great for areas where vegetation may not grow easily or where stone is more common. Aggregate infill allows for water infiltration so it can, can it can collect runoff from road surfaces and be kept clean fairly easily. The Minnesota Department of Transportation used the GeoWeb system to help stabilize the surface around bridge abutments and along railroad tracks and crossings. The flexible nature of the GeoWeb panels means it can easily contour through the slope face and around obstacles such as piles and abutments. With the system in place, water erosion is prevented around the abutments, reducing maintenance costs. This entire project was a mixture of topsoil and vegetation and aggregate infill, with aggregate being used below the bridges where vegetation would have been difficult to establish. Concrete infill is the last main infill type, and the system would no longer be considered permeable, but there are no maintenance requirements and the embankments can handle significant amounts of stormwater runoff if needed. 
The GWEB panels act as the formwork for the concrete and as the internal reinforcement, so no forms or rebar are required. The concrete is poured directly into the GWEB panels and screeded flush with the top of the cell walls, ensuring a consistent concrete depth without it slumping to the toe of the slope. Concrete filled geoweb or hard armor slopes are best used when there's going to be high water flow. Here's a project that takes water runoff from a train intermodal yard. The geoweb system replaced a design that had six inch reinforced concrete channels and four inch deep grout bag slope protection. The GeoWeb was a value engineering solution due to cost overruns. Using the GeoWeb system saved the owner a couple million dollars, but more importantly, it sped up construction and allowed the, modal, the intermodal yard to be in service much quicker than planned. The side slopes of this channel used three inch deep GeoWeb anchored with stakes because the slopes were short and relatively flat. The bottom of the channel used 4-inch GeoWeb so it could support vehicle access loads. This is another way the flexibility and versatility of the GeoWeb system can be used to create the right solution for your project requirements. Again, the GeoWeb panels act as the forms for concrete, so there's no need to build formwork, which can be tricky on slopes and in any event extends your construction time. Concrete is poured from the top to the bottom, and the cells hold the concrete in place and preventing it all and prevent it all from slumping and creating areas of uneven thickness. Speaking of thickness, an advantage of the GWEB is that it assures consistent placement thickness. Pore pressure buildup is always a concern beneath concrete structures, so this project included drilled weep holes through a through the set concrete to relieve that pressure. And here we see the full extent of the project, more than 1 million square feet of GeoWeb, and saved the railroad a significant amount of money, and more importantly, time. If global stability is a concern, or if steeper than a 65 degree face is required, your embankments could be built as retaining walls. GWEB panels can be stacked vertically on top of one another to create a gravity retaining wall, and geogrid tieback reinforcements can be added as necessary, similar to MSC block or gabion basket walls. The walls can be filled with topsoil in the front cell to create living green walls and can be built to support vehicle or building loading. Here are the two different wall options in a cross section. For a gravity wall, longer pieces of web at the bottom that get shorter as you go up, and the weight of the infill geoweb provides that earth retention. For a geogrid reinforced example, the geogrid provides the retention with the geoweb functioning as a fascia alternative. In either case, again, the front cell can be filled with topsoil if you want a vegetated wall, and the back cells or reinforced zone can use any drainable material. Here's an Ohio DOT project where a 20 foot wall was constructed to keep the rock face from eroding further. The GWEB system is the fascia that helps protect the road without taking up a lot of horizontal space. On to our last topic for today, using the GWEB system for stormwater control in place of typical stormwater infrastructure along roadways. The GWEB channel protection system is very similar to the slope protection system, covering entire channels or just single embankments, continuous or intermediate flow, low to high flow, and a variety of channel dimensions are possible with the GeoWeb system. The system is more economical than solutions that utilize large riprap, stone, or heavy gabion baskets. 
and several different infill material options are available to meet any channel flow needs. The G-Web system can be placed along the embankments of stormwater channels to help prevent erosion due to fluctuating water levels. Low flow situations are easily handled by vegetated G-Web systems, creating natural looking embankments without intensive maintenance requirements. The G-Web system does not need to cover the bottom of the channel if continuous low flow water is present. The type of vegetation within the GWA panels is not important to the function of the system, so choosing plants that are native to the area and okay with the occasional soaking will be a big help in reducing your potential maintenance. As I mentioned, the, GWA, the vegetated GWA system has a lower cost than riprap line channel since you can use local topsoil and you don't need to import large riprap stones. There's less maintenance as well, since riprap channels need constant inspection to replace lost stone and remove weeds. With a vegetated channel, the only maintenance is the occasional mowing, which can be done with your standard lawnmower, no special equipment required. And finally, vegetated, vegetated channels have better aesthetics than riprap channels. Extensive research was performed at Colorado State University to show how the vegetated G-Web system can perform in channel conditions compared to riprap. What we determined was that when paired with a turf reinforcement mat, the G-Web and TRM system can resist extremely high flows, reaching velocities up to about 30 feet per second and high shear stresses. All that for a vegetated channel. We also tested aggregate channels with three different cell sizes and two rock sizes, over 90 tests allowing for a regression analysis to be done. And this equation allows us to perform a rock loss analysis. Given bed slope and unit discharge of a particular channel, we can manipulate rock size and cell size until rock loss, or L, equals zero. When compared to traditional riprap sizing tools by Abbott and Johnson or the Army Corps of Engineers, GWEB channels can reduce rock size from two to 10 times. This large variance due to bed slope, we can reduce rock size more on flatter bed slopes. And finally, concrete filled channels. Studies by the US Bureau of Reclamation show concrete filled GWEB to be the most cost-effective, lowest maintenance solution for water conveyance channels, like this G-Web over geomembrane water conveyance channel in Colorado. Especially important as water becomes scarcer in our Western states. Once G-Web is installed, it performs the role of the concrete formwork, here concrete is pumped into the cells and it can also be poured directly from the concrete truck if access allows it. Screed and finish to the top of the cells. Again, notice the flexibility of the system. Concrete filled G-Web will not crack like poured in place concrete. And again, we did testing with our concrete lined or concrete filled GWEB channels at Colorado State University with very impressive results for the concrete filled version of the system. If you're interested in additional information on the GWEB testing at Colorado State University, we have independent research summaries prepared by Dr. Thornton for topsoil, crushed aggregate, and concrete. So just let us know if you need copies for a project.
This stormwater channel project in Florida shows how the GeoWeb retaining wall system can be used for water flow environments as well. The stacked channel system can be used in urban areas where there's no room to lay back your side slopes or in order to handle more volume in the same footprint. Great for alongside roads and highways. Vegetation can be used above the waterline for a more natural look with concrete used below the waterline to help resist erosion and washout. The GeoWeb system can be used in conjunction with riprap when there's potential for very high flows, such as this culvert outfall in Milwaukee. Stronger surface protection over the panels, such as TRM or coir fabric, can be used to withstand high flow events. This is intended for short duration events rather than continuous high flow. The flexible G-Web panels can easily accommodate culvert pipes or other obstacles, so there are no gaps in the protection. Including sano tubes allows for the addition of guardrail posts, and we often hear from contractors how easy it is to install the G-Web system, even if they've never worked with it before, and how it goes in place much faster and easier than gabion baskets or H-pile walls. We have written installation guides and tutorial videos on our website, as well as providing on-site or personalized virtual assistance when, we, when required. In summary, every project is different, but the GeoWeb system has a solution that is right for you. The GeoWeb system can be added to road projects and provide a more stable and longer lasting surface course for unpaved areas which will reduce maintenance and repairs. For paved surfaces, GWEB decreases pressure on the subgrade to reduce differential and long-term settlement, which will extend pavement life. The ability to use low-quality aggregate or even sand can save a significant amount of money. Whether you're looking to stabilize your roadway, protect your embankments, or manage your stormwater runoff, the GeoWeb system has great flexibility of design to meet your project needs. It's a complete system solution for ease of installation and peace of mind. Part of our complete solution is our technical assistance. The engineering team here at Presto Geosystems works closely with landscape designers and engineers, offering a free project evaluation service for any roads, embankment, or erosion control project. The form is on our website, prestogeo.com. Fill it out with as much information as you have, including attaching documents such as geotechnical reports, project site picks, or other info, and it comes directly to us. And within three business days, our in-house design engineering team will provide a complete design evaluation, including infill recommendations and anchorage requirements. We'll work with you to get the best design for your project. I would also like to introduce a new web-based software, Presto Geo P3, where you can plan projects yourself within this portal. This software offers a suite of geotechnical calculation tools designed to support engineers, contractors, and project owners in completing value engineering evaluations using GeoWeb GeoCells and GeoBlock and GeoPave porous pavements. Check out the software at prestogeop3.com. We deliver quality in over 40 years of expertise, guaranteeing each shipment meets or exceeds our specs so you can deliver certainty and build with materials you can trust no disclaimers or concerning fine print. One of the biggest questions we get is about cost. No surprise there, especially if this is a new technology for you or your area. Having an idea of how much the GeoWeb system costs compared to other stabilization techniques is very important. So here we have a basic comparison for the GeoWeb system for a load support application. In this case, a gravel surface road. This comparison shows the difference in both price and cross-section depth 
for an aggregate only unreinforced section, a section using geogrids and geotextiles, and then two sections showing the use of the geoweb system, one with aggregate and one with salvaged on-site materials as the infill. So you can see the geoweb system is both thinner and cheaper than the other methods, significantly cheaper when on-site material is utilized. Of course, your mileage may vary in terms of excavation and stone costs, but this is a good starting point for comparison sake. We've made it faster and easier for you to obtain your PDH certificates. And with our webinar dashboard, you can easily view our library of webinars and download PDH certificates for on-demand webinars completed. Your webinar dashboard will keep a record of on-demand webinars completed and PDHs earned. Please note that certificates for live webinars are mounted separately from the on-demand webinar dashboard. So you won't find your, your certificate from today in there, but you will receive an email from GoToWebinar within the next few hours containing a download link to obtain your PDH certificate. And then in two to three days, you'll also receive a separate email from Presto Geosystems with more information about accessing our on-demand webinar dashboard and other helpful resources. If you do not receive either of the previously mentioned emails, please check your spam folder or contact us info at prestogeo.com. And that's the presentation. I want to thank you for attending and remind that you can send questions to us anytime, info at prestogeo.com, or reach out. Here are my contact details. Now we'll look at some of the questions that came in on the questions tab. And I'll answer as many as time allows. Uh, if I don't get to yours or a question occurs to you later, uh, just reply to that follow-up email that comes from Presto Geosystems, or again, reach out to us, info at prestogeo.com, and we're happy to follow up. Thank you again for your time and attention today. All right, now on to some of our questions. So first question was going back to the section lengths given, um, what units? I mentioned um, about eight and a half feet by up to 58 feet. So that is a imperial for metric, that's about 2.6 meters by almost um, 10 meters for our mid-size cell, uh, longer for our larger cell. And you can find those sizes and all of our product specs at prestogeo.com, or let me know the type you're looking at, and I'm happy to send you the spec sheet. Please comment on use of GeoWeb geocells in urban roadways and parking lots where there are utilities below pavement areas. Okay, so when you have utilities below the pavement areas, the GeoWeb can offer a benefit in that it typically reduces the overall cross-section needs by 50 to 70 percent. So much less excavation will be required, but it will also have the added benefit of less stress reaching your subgrade. Remember that mattress effect, uh, those images we shared where it changes the pressure bulb of what reaches your subgrade. So quite a few benefits to these areas with utilities. And if you're wondering, um, will it work on your particular site project? We're happy to provide a free project evaluation. Just use the link on our website, prestogeo.com, or see yourself with the P3 website, prestogeop3.com. With the GeoWeb system, uh, next question. With the GeoWeb system, do we need to dig deeper or use the natural grade in order to build the roads of freeways? Uh, it depends on your particular project needs. We can design it so that it goes atop the standard grade. If you want uh, more of a crowned 
roadway or that the GeoWeb is at grade with just the wear surface above. So again, it depends on your particular project needs. Uh, it has been used both ways. Next question, is this technology considered proprietary? Uh, we are the original inventors of GeoCell technology, working with the US Army Corps of Engineers uh, starting in the late 1970s to develop that technology. It has since evolved and the original patent for GeoCells has expired. There are many GeoCell providers in the world, but GeoWeb and our proprietary appurtenances like the Atra key connectors and Atra tendon clips, those are indeed proprietary and are patent protected. Does the material makeup of HDPE hold up well in contaminated soil or historic fill environments? Yes, it is inert to most uh, chemicals as well as salinic soils. Um, if you have a particular site makeup, um, even hydrocarbon contaminated soils, not a problem, but the virgin high density polyethylene resins are um, the ideal for both weld strength and for that type of contaminated soil environment used often on mine sites and landfill caps as well as uh, shoreline protection for that very reason Next question, has GeoWeb been used on military bases being subject to military vehicles? What about airport runways? Uh, yes to all. In fact, that's how we got our start. GeoWeb was originally used to solve a military problem, crossing beach sand with heavy military equipment. The US Army wanted a quick to deploy road system that could be installed very quickly and efficiently using on-site material with little training. And that's how GeoWeb was first born, back then called SandGrid, uh, since used millions of square feet in the Gulf War stadiums, as well as for airport runways, especially military runways. Uh, Check out our website, prestogeo.com. We have a few interesting case studies and resources, including tank tracks with GeoWeb. Next question, what type of reinforcement is used in GRC? The GeoWeb itself is the concrete reinforcement. It acts as both the formwork for the concrete as well as the internal reinforcement of the concrete pavement. So you do not need any wire or rebar or mesh or any of that. The GeoWeb GeoCell is the reinforcement. Next question, what about tow anchoring for erosion control? Yes, typically at the toe of the slope or if you're building a GWEB channel protection system and only protecting an embankment instead of the full channel, you will need some type of anchor at the toe. It depends on your design. If it's a staked design, then it's some staking at the toe. If it's a, a tendoned design over a liner or geomembrane, then it will typically be the atra tendon clip load transfer device as the anchor, but yes, Typically, toe anchorage is required in some form. Our free project evaluations will note what type of anchorage, as well as the spacing or frequency or density of those anchors. So again, visit prestogeo.com and the request for project evaluation or RFPE link, or the Presto Geo P3 uh, for more information. Next question, are there inspections required of placed GeoWeb years after placement, in situ testing of material, documenting subsidence, 
or settlement. It is very project specific on that. We have a ongoing testing over 30 years longevity of our wall sections that are in place. But yes, many um, sites, especially mine sites, will require ongoing testing and inspections. Many of the road projects with your DOTs will require inspection. In fact, the very first picture in our GeoWeb Earth Retention section was a picture of an Ohio DOT, the ODOT inspection process. So yes, that is very common. Next question, what are the concrete joint requirements or recommendations such as control joints typically after concrete is poured? One of the great benefits of using GeoWeb for concrete pavements in GRC or even channels and slopes is that you do not need joints. Uh, the GeoWeb acts as its own reinforcement, but the thromboidal cell also it acts as a controlled cracking area for a controlled joint. Next question, how would this work for sidewalks? This would work well for all kinds of trails and walkways. Uh, again, making sure to screed flush with the top of the geocell will offer the best surface for walkways. Next question, can different thickness geocells be used, such as thicker on the top of the slope and rolled shoulder versus lower on the slope? Yes, in one of our channel projects that we did um, in Arizona had different requirements due to flow conditions and we um, changed from a six inch geoweb down to a three inch geoweb as a seamless transition between the two cell heights. Typically for a road shoulder, you wouldn't need such a drastic step down. Um, remember these cells will conform to the landscape uh, and kind of follow that natural slope already. They can also be cut quite easily with utility knives and saws. Um, so if you have a specific project in mind, uh, please reach out to us and we're happy to follow up. There are very many questions yet to come, uh, many asking about specific state approvals um, and reps. We will have to follow up individually with you. We're already quite a bit over our allotted time today. Um, if I didn't get to your question, I do apologize and I thank you for your enthusiasm and participation. Uh, we'll follow up in the email in the coming days and connect with each of you individually that ask these questions, uh, specifically the state, the ones particular to states, uh, Florida, Texas, I see you guys. Uh, we will follow up with you. Uh, sorry I didn't reach out to you specifically today, but again, we're well over time. So thank you for joining us. With that, we'll close and wish you well.